do that one? Yeah, let's do that one. Tengo un That was uh, by... Rene. Rene Ornelas. Yeah. That, that was the first hit, I want to say, right? That was... No, no. I mean, it was, no? one, it was, it was one, of the, one of the hits. It's uh, one of the songs that was on the very, very first album, uh, along with AIS. Ah, that was the first one. There was a, the, the very first single was a Conjunto song. Um, was it? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the first, no, the first single was a Conjunto song. And then came the, the field, um, Yo Tengo Un Amor. What was the Conjunto song? Thousand Dollar Question. No. Uh, <laughs> Jeez, um, I don't even remember. It was by Escamilla. What's his name? That one. That one. That was the first single. Ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -da Something like that. Yeah. Anyway, but there's a contest. What was the first single? There you go. And you can get a J shoes. We're gonna go with <laughs> yeah, my shoes. Yeah, we're gonna go with my shoes. <laughs> if you can name the first single off the first album. <laughs> you won't have any shoes to walk home with. It. Yeah, there you go. Money is right on. Uh, okay. Okay. Yo tengo un amor was uh, Rene Ornelas. We recovered that. So let's go ahead and cut that one. Come on. Oh, man, doing all these old songs, man. You know, they just—I mean, they—they they bring back good memories. They really do. It takes me way back. But it's the hard part about them is to sing them live and you know try to recreate that. Yeah. The that same feeling and the same try to get back in that same day where you can you were in the studio recording 15 years ago you know and to get on stage and do them and yeah i mean try to remember all the lyrics and then try to come in here and, and try to reproduce the same thing you know try to make it come alive again the way it was back in 15 years ago i said it's almost impossible man yeah. but the thing is it's got they, those songs the good thing about those songs is they still have flavor yep. and that's the most important thing man you know the, the song doesn't lose a flavor and you're, you're good to go, you know. And like I said, a lot of songs have been redone and re everything. You know, they've been brought to life again. Well, yeah, <laughs> and some have been butchered to death. You know, there's there's certain songs you just leave alone, man. Yeah. You know, you don't mess with them. You know, what what do they say in the music industry? Don't disturb the groove. There you go. But a lot of us musicians don't. We don't listen to that rule. But these songs have been, they've been there for quite some time and, and uh, you know, hopefully we can, our fans will, will appreciate. The younger fans that they weren't around uh, when these songs first came out, they were getting airplay. Hopefully this, these songs will, will, you know, will grow, you know, with them and on them, within them, where they can actually sing along with the songs and because a lot of them go to our shows and they hear these songs, but they're not familiar with well, you know, what's behind the scenes, what's behind, when did this guy record this song? When did this song come out? So, a little history, man. <laughs>